it frustrating at all knowing that you're trying to get your case for the title shot, hearing that maybe the crowd wasn't wasn't thrilled uh, with with the performance at all times? No, I think I think the crowd was pretty nice, and of course the crowd they want the submissions and the action, and I try and you know my last couple of fights I was able to do, but not in this one. But I don't care, you know. I think he he is a great fighter, you know. He is pretty tough and. He came, like I said, he came prepared. He really stood my game. He's defending. He was defending well. And he's a he's a real deal. All right, so just lastly for you, it looks like you've got Tyron next. Um, can you tell us, you know, kind of what kind of condition you're in? Uh, you know, how quickly you would want to fight? I know they're probably looking at a date. You know, Damien's uh, Tyron's resting right now. So how are you feeling, and how soon do you want to fight? He was resting. Now I want to rest a little bit. You know, I want to. I have a lot of things ahead, you know, I have to go to Vegas next weekend for the, the retreat with the UFC. Then I have my affiliates in the United States, they all gonna fly to LA. I'm gonna give like five days of course for them that I give every year for all my affiliates in the United States, the, the Jiu Jitsu Academies. And then after that, I you know I have a seminar in Brazil in Florianopolis. Then after that, you know, I, I gonna have something with my family. Then I have another seminar. So, you know, I need a little time uh, to, to recover Absolutely. my mind. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, it just happens, and, and let, let me think a little bit. Rarely do you get to, you know, get a title shot without these kind of questions coming at you, but just right out of the gate, how do you feel you match up with Tyron Woodley? <sighs> you know, I was watching his fight in New York against Wonder Boy. And I was thinking which one I would match up better, but you know, I I didn't come to any conclusion. I I saw some some things in Tyrone's game that I can capitalize on that I'm not gonna say right now. And in that time, in Wonder Boys too. But I really uh, I know I know the gaps that he has, but he's pretty dangerous. His hand his hand is really heavy. He's short, so it's probably hard to take down. And a good wrestler. So he, it's a very, very hard matchup for me. But once, once I get there, you know, it's 50-50, and I know that. You know, I've been in this division. I fought in this division 12 fights, and I won 10 fights. Almost all of those fights against top 15 uh, or top 10 competitors. So I know my, my level, and I know I can win uh, against anyone in this division. After everything you went through to get here, to get your title shot, you know, is there any party that wants to, you know, get it booked and signed immediately? Because, you know, George St. Pierre now doesn't have a fight. You know, there's that rumor. You know, Nick Diaz was a rumor for a while. Is there any party that just says, let's sign the deal immediately so there's no question that I'm going to get my title shot? No, that's something that I, I, ha I have no control of. So what I learned lately in my life is that, you know, don't get so stressed with things that I don't have control. So, you know, once... I won, I guess, I remember Gunnar Nelson, they invited me to go to watch Lawler and Condit in that time, and you know, I was supposed to be the next, and they, was record, they were recording me, you know, I was in the front row, but then things change, and okay, then I came and won against Matt Brown, and they said, okay, now, now we're gonna fight. And then, no, let's fight Condit. Then I, I, I won against Condit, the former, you know, interim champion, in a very good way, and I said, okay, now we're going to fight. And no. And finally I got this one. But I don't know, you know, I, I just relax and, and, and I not put this pressure in myself anymore. And I have s achieved so many good things in my life and in my career that I know I'm going to fight for the title right now. But I'm not like crazy uh, about that. You know, I want to fight for the title. I'm going to get the title. But I, I'm not like, I'm going to sign this right now. I, I just wait, talk to Dan and talk to the UFC and, you know, do the things the way we need to do. I thought I won the three rounds and I think most of people thought that. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I was, like you said, you know, controlling on the, the time the fight. I was almost all the round in his back and attacking from there the last like 30 seconds you know, he was able to turn me down and, you know, give some shots, but didn't really, I didn't really feel any of those shots. I was defending myself, so I don't know how they could give this round for him, but, you know, it's it's always weird. Question for Damien. Congratulations. Um, Thank you, Arya. Can't help but notice that you're wearing all black 
and on Wednesday, Masvidal wore all black, saying that he was coming for your funeral. Is this your response to his attire? You know, you know, I don't play this kind of game. You I know, I, 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 you know, like Tyron said, Tyron said, I was stupid to take that, that fight, and he said, eh, he will say always the same if he win. That he was a, you know, a great fighter, and he wanna fight me and. And he was nice, and he doesn't know how to sell fights. But I don't care that. That's my 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 personality. I'm not gonna change that. You know, I'm not gonna sell myself just because I wanna be a champion, or just because I wanna be make more money. You know, I don't sell myself. I'm I'm a, I am what I am, and you know, I'm a role model for a lot of people and for my kids. And uh, I don't wanna just change because I'm gonna make more money this way or gonna uh, do something. You know, like more people are gonna like me. I know I have a lot of fans, and you know, it's a big mistake to try to please every everybody. Like I said once in your in your show, uh, I I have my fans and and I looking for them, and I you know I fight for them, uh, and that's it. You know, I not like I said I'm not gonna change because people are saying a lot of people came to me. You need to trash talk and this kind of thing. That's not me. You know, I'm not gonna feel. Well, I have my principles, and you know, I, I had her die, and then, you know, change my principles. And not to be a, a Debbie Downer, but not too long ago, Frankie Edgar was told that he was going to get a title shot after beating Chad Mendez. So what makes you believe that you are actually going to get <laughs> this title shot? Uh, it's better believe, <laughs> but, you know, what can I do? I, 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 m I must believe. Uh, like I said, I came for seven in a row, and who did that in this division? Just Wonder Boy. And 10 of 12 in this division, I think was the toughest, you know, was the toughest way to pat, the toughest pat to any welterweight to get a title shot was my, my pat. And I, I'm pretty confident that what Dana said is gonna happen.